G'day YouTube. I bring you back to my dingy um, little lab again. Okay, so this is my my concoction. No, this is the my stainless steel bowl, and it has sodium hydroxide in there, along with water. The things that I didn't um, tell you, which I should have told you last time, you should wear gloves. And you, and you should play safe. Read the contents and know what you're doing. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Okay, what I wanted to um, tell you is, with this one, this up, this update, is that I've had quite a, I've put quite a few CDs in there, and they have come out fine. Okay, these are all the CDs I've done. There's a, quite a few here. Okay, now they won't they won't come out like um, how would you say Chris? They won't come out crystal clear. Um, possibly the sodium hydroxide does um, uh, mark a mark on them, but for my purposes, that they're quite fine. Um, Normally, people who are wanting to um, uh, take the, um, the, the, um, the metal off are people who actually want to paint them and hang them up as mobiles or something like that. But yeah, so I've done quite a few blues. Yeah, some of the um, uh, metal um, I have left on there because I just couldn't be bothered waiting that much longer for it. Okay, now the thing is, you won't get all perfect um, that discs that come out. Okay, what I mean by that is that... This disc here, this was put in and all the contents on the outside were uh, basically not eaten away, but like uh, loosened up and I could scrape that off. But what happens is, because of the way they make this, these CDs or DVDs, is that, that some of these are a two layer. Okay, not all, um, not all DVD, D, DVDs or CDs are actually a one layer. Okay, for example, like this one here, or this one, they are both the um, both the same disc. So basically, what happens is you have to prime apart, then you put them in, then you'll be able to um, take off the um, the layer. That's not too hard to do. Basically, you just need to get because they're basically held together with, um, uh, not glue, but possibly when they're stamped again, when they're stamped. Sometimes you can break it, so be prepared for that. So ideally the thing we do is just need to get our knife and try and Give it a wiggle. Sometimes if it doesn't come apart then. But just be persistent. And if that doesn't work, what you can do is just try and scrape around it. And this might be able to give you a good edge. Might break the seal. It's holding the disc together. See if I can do it on camera. Just a pair. Sometimes they come apart easy, other times they don't. I have cracked a couple doing this. We 
but that's not quite coming off yet. But sometimes you can actually um, like do it when they just come out of there. Well, that one's a little bit difficult to do, but you can do it. Like I said, I've I've broken it before. This one here is, is uh, two layers. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get this one. This one's about at it anyway. Like I said, we, you've got your two layers here. There, I've snapped this one. But basically, there you go. You've got your two, your, you've got your top bit, you've got your bottom layer, and you've got your silver or aluminium. Not 100% sure what it is, whether it's aluminium or silver, but when you go online, some, some people will say it's aluminium, some people will say it's silver, so it's a bit hard to tell. Well, but anyway, yeah, so that's, um, that's what you gotta do with some of those other ones. I'll see if I can pull one of these out and do it. Okay, so this this disc here is obviously it's two layers. It's ba it's ba the sodium hydroxide's gone in inside and eaten all this away, but it's left all the rest until it'll eventually get eaten. But it'll take a, take a little while. So what we need to do here, I don't know if you can see it, but it start to uh, come apart. So bring it up to the camera. Oh, all right. You can see there's like two layers. You got the bottom layer and you got a top layer. What we do is we stick our knife in. Try and give it a wiggle. See, there you go. A knife's going in. It's on the inside there. It's on the inside there. So basically what we do now is we just go around. And we're just freeing up the, the glue. Or the plastic that stuck it together in the first place. Okay, now what we do is we just pull it apart. Just be a bit careful. And there you go. Two halves. Then we just stick that back in there. Into our concoction of liquid. And it should clean it up. See if I find some other ones. That almost done. I haven't had a look today. These have been in there here for since yesterday. Some of these are almost done, some are done. Haven't had a real good look. This will rust stuff, so be careful. So all the silver should be, a lot of it should just basically scrape off. I need a 
brush. I think my liquids is, um, I think I need to renew the liquid. I think it's starting to come to the end of its life. Possibly like tip it out and restart again. Because I think we're almost completely saturated. See this one here, this is another um, a double disc. We could probably separate that one. But there ain't. So that's that's the thing. You just watch some of the uh, discs. They'll be all right. And others you'll just have to work at. Yeah, it just it just depends what the, what disc it, disc it is. It'll most likely um, be on the outside, the coating, or on the inside. If it's on the um, the outside, that'll be fine. It'll be easy to remove. When it's on the inside, it'll take longer. But when you so I've like I said, I've done all those um, those CDs. Uh, it's probably now, since the last video, I've put all those CDs. They've gone in there. Uh, it's probably a few days. So it's not too bad. you just got to give it time for the um, sodium hydroxide to work to remove the um, silver or aluminium or whatever it is. I've got a funny feeling it's silver. Or maybe some are silver and some are aluminium, depending on the manuf depending on the manufacturer. So, all right, see ya. Bye.